The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 13th chapter, text number 4, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on April 20th, 1974, in Bombay, India. Gita Vedito Michami Gyanam Gyam Chakishava So, to some extent, we have discussed from where we have to receive knowledge, perfect knowledge, without any mistake, without any illusion. Our knowledge, we are possessing four defects. We commit mistake. We are illusion. Our senses are imperfect. And we have got a cheating propensity. We are uh, possessing these four defects. However great a man may be, he makes mistake in calculation. To aid is human. Then we are illusion. Illusion means we accept something for something. Just like we are accepting this body as myself. This is illusion. The whole world is uh, illusion. Everyone is thinking in terms of the body. Uh, and according to Vedic knowledge, anyone who is under the concept of this body as self is no better than the cow and the ashes. Saiva Gokara. So these are these are our defects. Brahm Pramad Vipralipsha Karunapat. Karan, Karan means senses, the instrument through which we gather knowledge. They are imperfect. So with so many imperfectness, how we can give right knowledge? That is not possible. So any knowledge received from this defective person is imperfect. Therefore, we should receive knowledge from the Supreme. Narayana para abhaktya. Sripar Sankaracharya says, Narayana is beyond this material creation. He is, he exists before the material creation. Ahameva asama, great. Before the material creation, the Narayana is there and after the annihilation of this material creation, <coughs> the Narayana is there. Oh. Just like we are part and parcel of Narayana, living entities, soul, we existed before the creation of this body, this present body, my body or your body. And we shall remain also after the destruction of this body. Nāhannate hannamāne sarīre The real we means the spirit soul, Aham Brahmāsri. I am not annihilated even after the destruction of this body. Similarly, the huge gigantic material body also, when it is destroyed, Nārāyana exists. And we are part and parcel of Narayana. Mohi Vamsa Jiva Bhuta. Narayana has got two kinds of expansion. One is called Samsa, personal expansion. Just like there are so many incarnations. Rama Dimutti Sukala Niyamena Tishtham Nana Abhatara Makarad Bhuvani Sukhim. Krishna Sayam Samavava Parama Pumanaju Govindamadi Purisam Tamahangaja. So, Narayan 
Uh, he has got many forms. Uh, Krishna is the original Nara. <coughs> and from Krishna there are expansions. Chaturbha, Vasudev, Sankarsan, Anuruddha, Pradyamna. Then Narayan, from Narayan, Purusha Avatar, the Mahavishnu Avatar, the Kirodaksai Vishnu Avatar, the Garbhodaksai Vishnu Avatar. Uh, in this way, Narayan has got personal expansion. Addaite Achyati Anadi Ananta Rupam Addam Purana Purusam Navajavamanach. We get this information from Vedic literature. <coughs> So, uh, uh, Narayan, and we are also expansion of Narayan, Vibhindansa. We are called Vibhindansa, separated particles, part and parcel of Narayan. And Narayan has got personal expansion. So, we have to get knowledge from Narayan or Krishna. That is perfect. That is perfect knowledge. The Vedas means the knowledge from Narayan. That's what is perfect. Pene Brahma Rida Adi He imparted the Vedic knowledge. Lord Brahma is not independent. He received knowledge from Narayan. So, if he received knowledge from Narayan, that is perfect knowledge. That Narayan, so Bhagavan Sang Krishna, Narayan, if we receive knowledge from Krishna, that is perfect. Therefore, Arjuna is putting question. This question, what is this material nature? Prakriting Purusam. What are these living entities who are trying to enjoy this material nature? Purus wants to enjoy Prakriti. So, that I have explained yesterday, that although we are also Prakriti, we are now in the mentality of Purusha. Just like in this material world, man and woman. The man is, is trying to enjoy the woman, and the woman is trying to enjoy the man. This attitude of enjoyment is called Purusha. Actually, we are not Purusha, we are also Prakriti. Jiva Bhuta Mahabhaho Jaidam Dharjati Aparayam Itastu Vidhime Prakriti Para. We are superior Prakriti, but we are Prakriti. But because we are trying to enjoy the other Prakriti, which is dull, matter, therefore we are sometimes called as Purusha. The mentality as Purusha. So, Arjuna question is Prakriti Purusha. What are these Purusha? What are the Prakriti? Eh? Khetra, Khetrajna, what is this body? Khetra, and who is the owner of the body? That we must know. That is the beginning of Bhagavad Gita. The beginning of spiritual knowledge is to know what is this body and who is the owner of the body. That is the beginning of spiritual knowledge. Uh, when Krishna began speaking Bhagavad Gita and Arjuna accepted to become his disciple, Sishastyam, Sadimang Prapannam, when he said, so Arjuna was bewildered whether he would fight in the battle or not. So the question was not solved by friendly discussion. Therefore, Arjuna surrender to Krishna as a sister, disciple, not as friend. <coughs> so, as a spiritual master, as teacher, immediately Krishna chastised Arjuna. Asachyan anusubhu sattam pradya pradya vadam sabhasas. We are talking like a very learned man. But, you are lamenting on a subject matter uh, on which no pandit, learned man, laments. Gatasuna agatasuna sanamu sujanti pandita. He very uh, 
uh, mildly chastised. Indirectly, he says that you are not pandita, you are a fool, because you are lamenting on this body. Nānu sochanti pandita. Those who are pandit, those who are lamed, they do not uh, consider this body as very important. Uh, they are pandit. But at the present moment, everyone is thinking this body as the most important. So according to Bhagavad-gītā, not according to the Vedic understanding, uh, anyone who is stressing too much on the body, uh, they are gokhara, asses and cows, and animals. What to speak of becoming pandita? Uh, but at the present moment, the whole educational system is concentrated on this body how to keep this body comfortable. Uh, spiritual knowledge does not mean that you neglect your body. No, that is not the idea. But the most important subject matter of understanding is the soul. Aham Brahmas, Brahma Jnana, Athato Brahma Jijyasa. So far the body is concerned, that has been taken care in so many lives. In animal life, in bird's life, beast life, aquatic life. Now, Athāta Brahma Jīkās. This, this is the Vedānta instruction. Now we should take care of the soul of the Brahma, Aham Brahma. This is required. <coughs> that is a spiritual knowledge. Unfortunately, for want of spiritual knowledge, for want of studying Bhagavad-gītā properly, we are simply taking care of this, uh, I want to say, temporary body. That is being explained. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> First of all, Krishna said that this body is the khetra. Khetra means field of activities. You are acting according to the body we have received. And uh, and this owner of the body is working. Just like a cultivator has got a certain amount of land <coughs> and he is cultivating and producing food stuff according to his own capacity. This is called karmakanda. Uh, we are working with this body and reaping the desert and enjoying it. Uh, in this way, we are repeating uh, again and again, uh, uh, again and again, the transmigration of the soul from one body to another. Satchetram jatcha jadri jadvikari. Now Krishna is explaining, first of all he has explained that uh, we, the living entities, he is the proprietor of this body. But there is another proprietor, that is Krishna. Just like of a house, rented house, one is the occupier and another is the, is the proprietor. Similarly, this body, I, the soul, in the soul, we are simply occupier. The real proprietor is Krishna. Therefore, Krishna said, Khetra Gnanchapi Manavidhi Sarva Khetra Subhar. Just like a landlord has got hundreds of houses, and each house is occupied by one tenant. But the landlord is occupier of all the houses. Similarly, in each body, there are two living entities. One living entity is the soul, individual soul. And the other living entity is the Supreme Lord. Ishara Sarva Bhutanam Riddesa Arjuna Tishtati. He is situated, both of them are situated within this heart. Riddesa, it is pointed out. Uh, now you have got, uh, everyone knows from the heart 
the energy is distributed to the whole body. And as soon as the heart stops to work, no more body existing. Everyone you know. Therefore, the heart is the office, sitting office of both the soul and the super soul. Atman Paramatma. That is described in the Upanishad that two birds are sitting in one tree. This one tree is this whole body. And the two birds, one the individual soul and the other is the super soul. Both of them are sitting as friends. One bird, one bird is eating the fruits of the tree, and the other bird, other bird is simply onlooker, upadrishta onumanta. Uh, he the, the one bird who is eating the fruit, uh, is asking, shall I eat the fruit? And the other bird says no. Uh, but he says, no, I shall eat. All right, you eat at your risk. This is going on. <coughs> this subject matter was written, I think, by Milton, the Paradise Lost. <coughs> so, the Paramatma is sitting within your heart to guide it. <coughs> and without his permission, you cannot enjoy anything. Ah. But he gives permission. When you are persistent, he gives permission. All right, you can do it at your own risk. Ah. And when he is fed up, he may come to God again. What shall I do? But God's open declaration is that sarva dharman paritraja mami kang saranam. The, uh, the uh, super soul bar is always expecting when these uh, individual soul bar will turn towards him. He is so merciful. Uh, he is going, my dear friend, why you are trying to become happy by enjoying this material fruit produced by your work in this world? <coughs> we are creating different types of fruit. Karmana daivana trena jantar deha upapati. We are getting different types of body, life after life, which is created by our own karma. Uh, we want it, a body like this. Uh, we get it. If we want a body like tiger uh, to eat meat and suck blood, then Krishna will give you a tiger's body. And if you want a body like Devi Bhav, you can get it. Everything you can get it. Jathe Chesu Tathakuru. Krishna says, whatever you like, I will give you opportunity. But the best advice is that Sarva Dharman Paritya Jamami Kang Sarana. This is your best. It is up to me to accept it or not to accept it. Krishna does not interfere with your independence. Because you are part and parcel of Krishna, you have got little independence, minute quantity, not full independence. <coughs> As Krishna is fully independent, we are not fully independent. Uh, Krishna is parat, fully independent. Janmādhasya-jata-annayātita-ratascha-arthesu uh, avigna sarat Sarat means fully independent. But we are being part and parcel of Krishna. We are also little independent. So by misusing our independence, instead of serving Krishna, we are serving our senses. Therefore, bhakti marga means to rectify the senses, to purify the senses. By purifying senses, we come to Krishna consciousness. This is the definition of bhakti. Sarva bhādhi vinin muktam tat paratena nirmalam rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti vichyat. Uh, bhakti means to come to our original consciousness. By purifying the senses, 
how the senses can be purified. This bhakti yoga process. Samanam kirtanam Vishnu. This is the first process. You have kindly come here. You are hearing about Krishna. Krishna's talk with Arjun. It is very good. If you continue hearing like this, he will be perfect. Uh, simply by hearing, even if you do not do anything, uh, give up only hearing. Sthane sthita sutitatang tanuvang manovi. This is the recommendation by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That people should be given chance for hearing. Uh, then especially in this age, Kaliju, uh, they cannot do anything. But if they simply agree to hear, sitting for some time, that can be introduced in every house, every home. The Bhagavad Gita is there, and everything is explained there. If family-wise, everyone sits down in the evening or in the morning for half an hour and reads Bhagavad Gita, chants Hare Krishna mantra, just see the result. Every home will be happy. This is our propaganda, Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, simply try to hear about Krishna. So about Krishna, Krishna is personally speaking this Bhagavad Gita about himself. Uh, so why not take this opportunity? Uh, why you are losing the opportunity given in this human form of life to hear about Krishna? Everyone can do that. But don't misinterpret according to your uh, own, I mean, say, fertile brain. No. Just hear Krishna, what Krishna says, as it is. Uh, Krishna, don't try to into malinterpretation. That will not make you problem. Uh, try to hear Krishna. Krishna says that He is the Supreme Personality of God. He says, Matta Parataram Nanya. <coughs> there is nothing superior than Krishna. Uh, that is, if you accept that, then you immediately advance fifty percent in spiritual knowledge. Immediately. If you simply accept this. The Krishna says that matta parataram nanya kinti dastida. And that is the verdict of this aspect. Ishara parama krishna sachidananda vigra anadi radhi govinda sarvakarana karana. This is statement of uh, Brahma Sangita. And in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is says, Krishna stu Bhagavan Sayam. Ete chan sakala punsa, Krishna stu Bhagavan Sayam. Again, it is said, Rama di murti sukalaniya mena tishthan, nana avatana makarat dhuvane sukintu. Krishna Sayam samavavat paramapamad. We have got description of many avatars, incarnation. <coughs> so, they are Krishna's expansion by Ram Nishinga, Baraha, Matsa. Uh, there are so many incarnations, they are coming. Uh, incarnation are hundreds and thousands. So they are all incarnation. But Krishna Sayam, Paramapuma, Krishna is the Supreme Person. In this way, Except Krishna, the origin of everything. Janma Adrasya Jata. Krishna also explains, Aham Sarvasya Prabhava Matta Sarvam Prabhata Iti Matya Bhajante Ma Buddha Bhava Samanit. Those were actually Buddha, intelligent, and Bhava, with ecstatic love. They worship Krishna. Bhajante Maam, Chotujjila, Aam Sarvasya Prabhava, Matta Sarvam Prabhata. Sarma means, because in the beginning of creation, there were three deities, Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesha. So, they are also emanation from Krishna. 
Matta Sarva. Sarvam includes Mamma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Matta Sarvam Prabhupada. Iti Matta, one who knows it very well. Iti Matya Bhajante Ma, those who know in the knowledge, they worship me, uh, Buddha, because they are expert. They are actually in knowledge. Buddha, Bhava Samanmita, with ecstasy of love. This is what this is perfection of life. If we uh, take to Krishna consciousness with love and faith, full understanding of Krishna, that is the perfection of life. That you can get. Every one of us can get it if we study Bhagavad Gita very carefully, without any man interpretation. So success is there. We have to take. Uh, and another uh, facility is that because sometimes we cannot understand what is actually Bhagavad Gita's purpose. It is very plain. Still, as we are very much unfortunate, we cannot understand. Uh, that uh, misfortunate can be uh, avoided by chanting this Hare Krishna mantra. <coughs> it will cleanse the heart. Chetadapana Mahajanam Bhava Mahadabhadmini Bhavana. We are suffering for misunderstanding. Uh, misunderstanding that I am this body, I belong to this nation, I belong to this family, I belong to this, that, so many things. All misunderstanding. All misunderstanding. Oh. My real identity is Ang Brahmasana. I am spirit soul. Fortunately or unfortunately, uh, by my own work, I have been put into the encasement of this body, temporary body, and I am creating another body. In this way, I am traveling from one body to another, from one planet to another, from one place to another. This is going on. Bhutta bhutya praliya I am taking my birth. And again, I am becoming annihilated, although I am eternal. Nitya sasatayam lahannati. This is understood. People should be little intelligent that if I am eternal, lahannati hannamane I do not die even after the destruction of this body. Just like if this certain coat is uh, torn out, we throw it out. That does not mean. I am also torn and finished. Similarly, this body, this body means I am spirit soul. I am covered with this gross body and this subtle body. This gross body is made of earth, water, air, fire, sky. And the subtle body is made of mind, intelligence, and ego. So I am covered by these two shots and course. So I am different from this. That is knowledge. That is not, that knowledge is being explained. And when you come to that real knowledge, then you become Brahma Bhuta, Prasannatma. Oh, when you actually understand that I am Brahma, Aham Brahmasmi, I am spirit soul. This is my Saturn coat. Oh, so long I was busy with this Saturn coat only. Ah, I have no business with it. Yes, you have got business. But that is not your main business. Your main business is to take care of yourself as soul. That is your main business. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.